another day, man. It's another episode of J and J every day. How y'all doing? It's your boy Jason, my partner JC to my right. Woo! Your left, and we in the building, man. How you, how you feeling, man? How you doing? I'm feeling great, man. Can't complain. Good. good Lakers good. still champs. They still are. And, Chiefs uh, only one loss. You know what I'm saying? Living great over here. I'm a double champ, man. Oh, double seeds, man. double seeds. He, oh, yeah. He's just boasting and bragging. Man. He's, <laughs> feeling, he's feeling amazing. Well, listen, you are a Lakers fan. I'm not you a Dodgers not a fan. not a Dodgers fan, though. But LA but, is still turned up. Yes, sir. If you are a Lakers and a Dodgers fan, like we know a lot on the West Coast. Oh. Congratulations. You woke up, double champs like the homie JC did uh, here today. You feel me? So you know how he's feeling. He can tell you a thing or two about the life. <laughs> um, they took man, How do you feel? And like bizarre, under bizarre circumstances. Yeah, the biggest uh, story... It's so 2020, the biggest story <laughs> of of the night. It's not the Dodgers championship. Mm -hmm. It's Justin Turner, one of their star players, uh, receiving the news that uh, he had. Uh, I don't even know if that was the first of like you know that MLB knew about him yeah. having. I know it was an inconclusive test before. That's what delayed it. And then in the sixth inning, they he pulled. They got pulled out because he had um, a positive COVID test. The crazy thing is he came back after they had won the championship and, you know, was taking pictures and <laughs> celebrating and enjoying, you know, pulling down his mask activities. sometimes. What do you feel about it? I, I mean, obviously, I don't feel good. Well, I, one, I don't feel good that it is, it's weird. The middle of the game poor, the middle of the game. What are they so... They found out middle of the game. Yeah. I guess that. Well, that's what they're telling us. Yeah. You don't, we don't know if they told them before and they well, just went out there anyway mm -hmm. or they found out in the first inning and they... They you just let them ride it out because they knew that... Or that MLB made a call down. Like I don't know. We'll find out in a few, but... Um, you know, I mean, the, look, the league put out a statement. They were critical um, um, of, of his decision. You know, they said that it's clear that Turner chose to disregard the agreed upon um, protocols. Yeah, after they the won, he just said, um, he, yeah. he said he's going out there. I mean, and if mm -hmm. you're security, you exactly. don't want to catch the, the virus. Exactly. I mean, you what put, are you going to do? Put your hands on me? We understand. And, you know, we were talking about this earlier. And we were saying, yeah, we would understand. You know, I want my man to celebrate. I'll celebrate. But now thinking about it again, it's it. Yeah, y'all won the title, but there are others. Wherever you're going, wherever you're at, there's staff there. There's other people there. So, you know. And then you guys are clearly going to party after this. So, and, and yeah, that's now exactly. It's like you're yep. spreading it. Mm -hmm. And that's what he was doing. You know, Matt pulling his mask down. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, rejoining his teammates. So, happy for the Dodgers, but just bizarre circumstances where you feel like, you know, maybe the Dodgers felt like, hey, we're getting to the end of the season. You know, say we can afford to, to hell with the protocols for, you know, for this last game, you know, or, or so. So, yeah, I, I don't like it, um, but congratulations to the Dodgers. It was an exciting World Series. Um, I definitely will say that. It was a very um, and it, it's exciting game six, too. You know, it started out, Homer. Announcers, yep. just, announcers just sitting there talking about My it. main guy, Randy Arosa. Uh, look, Randy A. <laughs> Arosa Arena. Arosa I'm not Arena. even going to try because y'all know how I do with the Arosa games, Arena. Man. I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. Randy started it off. I told y'all, man, but, he the young, he the young dude. He's, yeah, he's rookie season. He's going to be all right in the future. They he sat down and talking about him. They were talking about him. You know, hey, he's been killing it. And what does he do? Steps up to the plate and cracks one. But unfortunately. What do you think about it. them pulling um, pulling Blake Snell after he had, you know, nine strikeouts? Had the, had the game in hand. He had a good game. But, you know, analytics shows that. If you was gonna keep him in there longer, it's gonna mess it up, and then and then the game Mookie Betts goes hits the home run. Oh man, see this this is where a lot of second guessing um, comes into play, or what they call it, Monday morning quarterback. That's but the big. That's the big question. I didn't like it because I felt like that last couple games is game six. You got game seven. I personally just felt that you you just you ride you ride a player longer than you normally would in these situations. You know you know the risk is there, but the reward 
you, you know, it, it's much great. Two games, we're not asking you to do it for a whole series, but two games, I, 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 I thought they should have left them in there yesterday, and I think they ultimately paid the price. Um, um, like you spoke of, with Mookie going yard, but um, I didn't like that decision. Uh, what did you think? I, I didn't, again, I just, I think you got to ride them. You got to be in nine strikeouts, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Pitching well. Um, I just think you you got to, you got to let, you got to leave him in in that situation. You have to. You have, that's what you get the big, that's what yeah. you get the, you that's what you get paying the, the big World bucks series. for. That's what, you know, that's what. Forget the analytics, throw that out the um, door, man. I didn't like it, so I, and that's, ooh. Man, Tampa Bay. Oh man, that yeah, that that rubbed me wrong. So, Dodgers, man, three one. What do you what do you think? Do you think that all? Do you think that is why Mookie went yard, or do you think that's just you, you know they they should have left him in as well? Well, right? they Even said they um, baseball people say you shouldn't see the the same hitter three times, and it was Mookie best third time coming up. I, and I think you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Say they do leave him in there, and then he does throw. You know what I'm saying? Some I hit that. I mean, a joint that goes for a home run. Then everybody's looking at the manager like, "Why didn't you pull him out all that time?" You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I'm not a coach. That's what I always say. Maybe I would have kept him in as the, as the hot hand, but yeah, that, like I said, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, man. Nah, that, that's that's my only thing. Is just as the hot hand, and I know you need to get see see the same. Batted three times. I, I know it's not good. The odds are not in your favor. But again, man, you're rolling. You start, yeah, you're rolling. You're rolling right now. So the odds aren't. These aren't your. You know, these aren't your normal odds. You're rolling, man. So, but hey, listen, Mookie. That and we got to give Mookie best credit. That's what. Listen, that he got traded to the Dodgers to do just that for them. That's why they went out and you know Did participated. Some stuff and, right there. And, yes, sir. And you know, engaged in trade talks for him because they knew what type of player he was, um, and he showed up big time, big time when they needed him to. Corey Seager, World Series MVP, uh, phenomenal uh, postseason, scored twenty RBIs, man. Uh, second to only Dan David Freeze in twenty eleven, St. Louis. All right, man. Yeah, twenty one. Congratulations, congratulations, man. Sure. Da, da, the L A Dodgers, man. It's crazy. Lakers in LA, same year. You can't write this type of stuff. Well, you can, but still, it's, it's that's ridiculous. That's crazy. Definitely. Listen, congrats to the MLB. Congrats to MLB for completing their season. Um, you know the way they started their season. Not many of us thought they would complete it. Um, I I do got to applaud them for, uh, you know, late. But they finally came up with, you know, with a way to test guys, obviously. Hey, you see here um, in this situation, if someone's just going to say F it, then not much you can do. Um, and, you know, for going to uh, neutral locations for, you know, for the playoffs as well, you know, creating uh, kind of a bubble, envi bubble environment there. So I got to give them, you know, shout out to them for doing the right thing, essentially. But, hey, they was doing the complete wrong thing, excuse me, to start the season. I'm stuttering like this because it was just, it was incredible to see. <laughs> it was incredible to see somebody that had so much time to prepare for something. I still think had it's somebody... wrong that MLB, uh, they messed up in the end. They should have had somebody Oh, definitely, come down. definitely, definitely. You, you, you saw the model laid out for you via the NBA, and even if you can't model it exactly, you can still take some, some tidbits or here and there. They had nothing. They had nothing when opening day rolled around, so. Um, but they got they they got their itch together, you know. They got their stuff together later down the road. So good job doing that. And they got to complete a World Series. So the NFL gives me hope. You got this. You got this. Uh, let's move on. We yes, race for college football. Yep, we didn't get to it on Monday. We back college football on Wednesday. The Big Ten came back, and Ohio State came back, and Aurora beats uh, oh, Nebraska man. fifty-two to seventeen. Man. Yes, sir. Game started off slow for Justin Fields and company. Um, it definitely started off slow. It looked a little, um, you know, they looked a little rusty. But um, once they got going, and then you know, second half, late first half, uh, Justin Fields looked really good. Um, he looked lighter. 
a lighter dare I say, and they look, you know, ready to roll. The defense came along, the offense started rolling, and you started seeing, okay, this is Ohio State. The weapons are there, you know, on the outside, running back is there. Um, <clears throat> so it'll be real, really interesting to see how they fare. And remember, um, it's eight consecutive weeks for um, for the Big Ten. So any COVID scares or anything like that, you know, a postponed game. You might be out. Yes, sir. Uh, number eight, Penn State got upset in overtime by Indiana, man. Crazy game. I didn't like this. Well, I, man, I think, I think he was. thought he was out of bounds. Yeah, I see. I, I thought I thought he was out of bounds, man. I really did think he was out of bounds. I, I thought um, Penn State got host, but I will not let Penn State off the hook. Um, I can't do that that easily because they 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 were playing poorly um, early in the game as well. Got down early, <clears throat> excuse me. Got down early, um, and you know we talked about how Ohio State looked rusty. They weren't like you know they turned it on late. But their defense just never got – their defense didn't really get rolling at all. Um, so, listen, I think they got hosed in the end, but the game is much longer than, uh, you know, one play. So, they did it to themselves. Number 14, Wisconsin. Smacks Illinois 45-7. to Their QB Mertz, uh, 248 uh, yards with five touchdowns. But didn't he get a positive COVID test right after yes, the game? Yes, sir. I wonder how that's going to work. Um, he did get a positive COVID test. Um, I think a player has to quarantine, I believe what? I believe it was three weeks. Like three or four weeks. It's not just two weeks. Um, it's not just two weeks for a player when you have to quarantine in college. I'll fact check that right now and get that back to you. But um, that's a big loss for um, Wisconsin um, after rolling. It's not looking good, man. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the top performance for last week, though, we got Malik Willis. Okay. 24 for th 31, 345 yards, six touchdowns, 12 rushes, 97 yards with a rushing touchdown. That's crazy, mm -hmm. man. Desmond Ritter, 13 for 21, 126 yards, a touchdown, eight rush yards. I mean, I mean, eight rushing attempts, 179 yards and three touchdowns. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, man. Travis Etienne, though, I don't sure. know. Got three touchdowns over there on Clemson. He's trying to make his own Heisman, Heisman push. It's going to be hard, though, man. You play oh, yeah. with Trevor Lawrence, who looks spectacular. Um, Clemson rolled 47 to 21. Man, their line, their line was like a minus, I think, 47 yeah. or something like that, which was ridiculous. Uh, Syracuse did not let them cover that. Syracuse wasn't even supposed so. to score a touchdown. Yeah, it was. And I was it too was scared ridiculous. to take that. <laughs> nah, yeah, I, I should have took. I should have took Syracuse. That was crazy, but uh, uh, comes from road, man. Alabama, they look good. 48-17 win. Rolled on Tennessee. Yes, sir. Matt Jones. So Notre Dame. Had 25, uh, 25 for 31, 387 yards, man, for Alabama. Oh yeah, you said Notre Dame. Also rose over Pitt, forty-five to three. Yep, wet like I'm book, <laughs> book three for twelve, man. I mean, three hundred twenty, three hundred twelve yards, three touchdowns. They look like they're in midseason form. Um, and Iowa State, man, fell to Oklahoma State, twenty-four to twenty-one. Low scoring game to their standards. Yeah, man. definitely <laughs> was. This was this was a game I was actually interested in seeing and watching. Um, SMU and Cincinnati. Because, you know, SMU ranked 16, uh, former Texas quarterback Shane Michelle. I was just interested to see, you know, how would they fare up against their real test of the season in Cincinnati. Man, it didn't go well. 42-13. Um, they trailed 14-10 at the half. But in the second half, man, um, Shane, they just weren't able to get anything going. Only 216 yards. Nope. And one touchdown um, for Shane. They couldn't get anything going. So, um, SMU, I think, will be. They'll, they'll get bounced pretty far back uh, in the standings. And I think that about, I think that man sold it up for real. For last week. Yes, sir. The only other question I had actually last weekend coming in, Michigan. Michigan, Michigan. I knew they were going to. No, I, I didn't know they were going to win this game because Michigan. Dude, is this, let's talk about it, man, real quick. They can't beat Ohio State. That's their rival. What does John Harbaugh? If again they don't get, if again they get spanked by Ohio, by Ohio State, what what, what happens or what, what goes on, man? What, what goes? Do we get a firing? 
Like, what I mean, well, look, if they were going to fire him, they should have fired him last year, two years ago. So that, I think that, they're going to still be on him. I mean, that that's what I'm thinking. But, again, you haven't beat Ohio State yet in your time there. Not yet. And that's your main rival. That is your main rival. I'm back in 2015 now, y'all. Listen, yeah, I'm in 2015. Hasn't. Okay. So, hey, I'm just saying, man. That, that's the one team where this season it's like, hey, because that's a program where you can recruit crazy and you can get crazy good talent down there in Michigan. You know what I'm saying? But they just they cannot get over the hump at all. And I just want to know when the time is up. Because I'm in 2013, and I still haven't had a Michigan win over Ohio State yet. And I'm in 2012, and they still haven't beat Ohio State yet, y'all. I'm telling you. All right, 2011. The last time they beat Ohio State was 2011. And that's when, that's supposed to be one of the best rivalries in football. One of the all-time classic giants. And what, what is this, this? I don't know, man. And don't make, I'm still scrolling. And I'm in 2009, and it's two straight L's again. But that was the big question. So I'm watching Michigan very closely, man, this year uh, to see how they fare in a shortened season. And that's it. That's all yeah. I got for you, big fella. Coming up this week, though. That's all I got. What we got? Uh, Michigan is playing Michigan State. Michigan's uh, at number 13 right now. Uh, again, they should win. Again, they should win. Uh, Michigan first. I mean, new head coach, Mike D'Antoni. Uh, um, Mike D'Antonio is man. gone. That's it, Mike D'Antoni. And they got beat by Rutgers last week. So, uh, Michigan, look, a game. A game you should win. Yeah, there should, be, line is there should be no head. upsets this week, in my opinion. But I shouldn't say that after last week. Ohio State, though, definitely. I'm uh, trying to tell you. I think Ohio State's definitely going to ruin Penn State. Do you see any uh, upsets? Last week you did. I don't see them. Maybe Texas Tech being Oklahoma. Texas taking down our number six, Oklahoma State. No. I no, definitely no, they're can number see that. Oklahoma. Ooh. Oh, I'm talking about Texas Tech. You yeah, talking about yeah, yeah. Texas? I'm talking about Texas. Sir, get out of here. Six Oklahoma State. <laughs> yes, sir. We're going down to Boone Picking Stadium this uh, weekend. Nah, man. And nah, we're going to give them a good old nah, beat down. They knew to put this game at 4 p.m., you know, so I could do my Halloween festivities watching a coming off of a Texas beat down. So, what festivities are you going on? I don't know, man. I don't know. You talked about, you know, maybe a cookout, you feel me? And other than that, I don't know. Might bounce around, but shoot. My man Jay Greenfield will be manning the grill. You know I got to come through. You know I got to come through. But, yeah, other than that, I don't see um, I don't see much. Yeah, Ohio State should handle Penn State. I don't believe that. Um, you got James Wisconsin, uh, I think they might be missing their quarterback. Yes. And number won't. nine, they're playing uh, Nebraska. Nebraska is not that well, though. But they're we'll not. See. Yeah, that, that could be a mess. Memphis Conor versus Trapping. Cincinnati. Memphis hasn't had the best year like last year. Ooh, but Memphis versus Natty. No, I don't think so. But like you said, um, we can never call it. So I'm pretty sure there will be an upset somewhere. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to call it. Uh, give me Arkansas over number eight, Texas A&M. Arkansas at two and two. I think they take down number eight Texas A and M in College Station. So give give me that one. Boom. Iowa right, well, man, we're playing Northwestern. Thank you. Northwestern just smack Maryland, please, man. Oh yeah, y'all gonna get ran over, man. Nah, it's nah, quiet. we need this win. Nah, nah it's quiet. It's nah, nah, it's nah, nah, we need this win, man. Bro, y'all gonna get spanked. We need this win. We need to get on this roll, man. We there's no roll that's road. gonna be gotten on. They lost to Purdue last week. Purdue, I heard the boiler make. Listen, Purdue's. We coming back. Don't worry. Purdue's. We got a good little schedule. Is boiler maker. We got boiler Northwestern, maker. Michigan State, Minnesota. You know what I'm saying? We beat Penn State. If we beat Wisconsin, we gonna see. We right, gonna, right, we gonna go, see right, them right, folks right. in the Big Ten championship. Oh, Northwestern. I say. Listen, I'll pick y'all to win this week. I'll, I'm picking Iowa to beat Northwestern. Y'all should be uh, Michigan State too. Minnesota, that's going to be a good one. Trying to tell y'all. Ooh, Penn State, I don't know. That's a toss-up. Nebraska, that's a W. Illinois is a W. Wisconsin, you're going to lose. We'll see, man. There you go. I just picked the schedule for y'all. Watch it play out exactly watch how it looks. Watch us win the damn national. I mean, watch <laughs> the, the Big Ten Championship <laughs> over uh, over Ohio State, man. They're going to have a little injury somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
not wishing no injury, but hey. Ah, my man. That'd be the only way we win. Yes, Wisconsin, Nebraska is actually canceled. Canceled for this weekend. Yep. Uh, I guess the contract, uh, the contact tracing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Wisconsin. Well, see, 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 hey, Wisconsin's out of our way. Now they can't be in the, <laughs> in the, in the <laughs> net. See, now, nah, yeah, but let me not this talk like that because the hey, same thing could happen to Iowa. This we can get shut down, is. too. But, um, I'm surprised the college football season is even still going. <laughs> Listen, they're chugging yeah, full ahead. We are in week nine. It's full right? steam. There's, listen, they're still going. Um, Teams but, have been shut down and opened up. Yeah, they, I mean, look, they just push them back or they cancel the game and the team doesn't play. But, listen, they gonna, the college football season is going to go until the last team has to cancel their season. If there's three teams still coming out there for uh, every Sunday, six teams still trying out there every Sunday to play, college football going to play, man. College football is going to play. But um, let's go to NFL real yes, quick. Yes, sir. Man. We got some. We got some news, my man. We got some news. What's the news we got? Well, developing just about an hour ago. Um, the NFL is planning to have at least um, oh, it's planning for twenty percent um seating capacity at the Super Bowl this year in Tampa. Um, you going this year? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's gonna be in pods that are gonna pods that'll be six feet apart. Um, and masks will be required. So we'll definitely uh keep an eye on that, man. And see what goes on. And um, Carlos Jack, Dunlap. Yep, Carlos Dunlap is on the move, man. He got traded to the Seahawks. Um, listen, I like that move. Um, Seattle, after you know this weekend, said, "Wait a minute, probably after playing Kyler Murray, we gonna have to see him." You know, maybe down the line. Well, they've always been. They've been trying to make a push, even with the receiver. They've been trying to make a little jump. Mm-hmm. I like that. You know, they're not. They're not. Content. They're not content, yep. Yeah. And they know that, hey, teams in this division are, are are better than they were last year. Maybe surprisingly better right now. So we need, we got to go shake them up. So Carlos Dunlap, man, has had, he's had a good career. He had a good career out there. Um, drafted in 2010, 10-year career in Cincinnati, 32 years old, man. But now he heads to Seattle. So good pickup for him. Good pickup. Hmm. This year, uh, this year he got 18 tackles, man. See if he got any sack. 18 tackles and one sack. Had nine sacks last year. Well, we'll see how he fares out there, man. They get some good help. Man, he gets free of a uh, free of a sinking ship. Well, not a sinking ship. It's a rising ship, but it's a slow rise. I don't know if you guys care, but Des Bryant um, he signed to the practice squad of the Ravens. I care. I do care. I don't know what Dez has left, if you know, but I think that if he has anything left, even though it's been three years, um, I, I, I'll take it. I'll take it. I think I think anything Dez is still is still can be a good player. Um, you just might be you no know, role player Dez or something like that, but hey, I will take that. Um, right now, the last time he played, he was twenty nine, um, so he's probably what thirty one, thirty two at the moment. Again, you can just throw him in there as another receiver, another ball catcher if he can be productive. And they haven't had that many good um, receiving. They receiving don't. They, this year. That and that's what Baltimore's trying to work on. They know that their one thing is we just can't get the ball down the field when we need to. So we'll see. Um, you know, if they try to make other moves or how this Des Bryant practice squad thing goes. The we'll Cowboys are getting forward. the release. Uh, if they cannot trade these two by no. November 3rd, they're getting ready to release Dante Poe and Daryl Worley. Uh, Dante Poe signed a two-year, $9 million contract. He played 253 snaps this season, and he's only had oh. seven tackles and zero sacks. Yikes. Worley, no better. Yikes. Giving up big plays. He's allowed 10 of his... 12 targets to be completed. He's played 246 sacks. I mean, 246 snaps hasn't done a thing. And, you know. It hasn't done a thing. He hasn't. He's, uh, he's stuffed. Only only two of the passes gone his way have, have been dropped or something. So. Dolphins, man. Listen, two are starting this, uh, starting this weekend for the Dolphins. They signed hey. tight end Adam Shaheen to a two-year contract extension, man. With the max value seven point seven point eighty five uh, million, that includes three point two million fully guaranteed. So um, and his, his uh, contract expired at the end of the season. 
So we'll definitely uh, keep an eye on that. On Monday, though, we both picked the Rams, and they beat the Bears 24-10. Beat down, beat down. Beat down. Rams have allowed three or less points in the second half of six of the seven games this season, man. And they're also 30-0 since 2017 when leading at the half. That's the only team with that many wins in that span with no losses. Uh, man, Foles, he's only had three touchdowns in four games. It's not looking good. Not at all. I mean, I still think that's better than what Mitch was giving, but... And he's had an interception in six straight games. Okay, yeah, that's not looking good at all. Jalen Ramsey, though, on the other side, is he's had his first interception in his last 25 games, so he's back on the... Sheesh. <laughs> Man, Eddie Jackson. Picks when no one throws the aside. Fumble return. Khalil Mack had a forced fumble. Aaron Donald, man, he continues to break records, man. He's the fourth player with eight sacks in his first seven seasons. At least eight sacks. Give him some respect. <laughs> yeah, some, man. Some respect. We knew that the Rams would do respect. this. Yes, sir. And real quick notes, man. Panthers release cornerback Eli Apple. If anybody cares about, you know, what Eli Apple's whereabouts are landing him. And the Lions, man, uh... They're trading a six-round pick to the Cowboys for defensive end Everson Griffin. Okay. Yep. The Cowboys six look like they're pick. tanking out. Yep. Trevor Lawrence. Season. Oh, a conditional six-round. It's a conditional six-round pick to Dallas for uh, for Everson Griffin. Nah, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence season. Nah, they got to win, right? The Cowboys. They got. Yeah, they got one running there. Nah, man. The Jets are gonna. They're not that far. Yeah, but we just talked about the Jets, man. Hey, bro, I'm gonna put like. I would have got two wins. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, the Jets are. The Jets are kind of. They only two wins away. The Jets are definitely on a 0 and 16. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Season, though. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I mean, are they see, done with Sam Darnold? We're not gonna see. I don't think we'll see the Jets get to that. Man, in our $150 mm-hmm. bet, you are up three games, sadly, man. You Let's got 66 wins it. in there with 35 losses. Oh, with it. I got 38 losses this season. But this Thursday, that's hey, tomorrow. Hey, it's Atlanta at one and six, going up against the Carolina Panthers at three and four. Oh, Atlanta so has won five of the last six games versus Carolina. I'm tired of r- betting on the freaking Falcons, man. Give me the Panthers. Oh, give me the Panthers. I'm taking the Falcons like a. Da-dun, da-dun. Give me the Panthers. Let's uh. roll, baby. Let's roll. Get the Falcons, man, you've been getting cheated all season, dog. You've been messing up all season. You've been getting cheated, especially after last week. You have to be yeah, motivated, yeah, dog. Yeah, man, but I don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. You have to be motivated, man. I don't think that he'll be, um, listen. I don't I was think afraid. Check on your this. local Falcons They're fans, not going to be able to get this done. They're not okay. How's man. Michael doing? <sighs> He don't even be talking. He don't even be talking. He is. I keep telling him, just be a cheese fan. It's okay if your big brother's a cheese fan. You know what I'm saying? They will uh, work out. We can work out. Uh, yeah. Work out. Why not? I'll accept you. A cheese fan these days, man. Huh? I know. Mean, I saw. I, mean, I said cheese fan. Falcons fan. That's what I thought. I was like, man, I haven't, I haven't heard much football talk from him these days lately. When I be around, he's he's like, probably like, focused on college football now. Ohio State fan for some reason. Ah, okay, yeah, all right, big, big. If I was him, I would be doing the same exact exactly. thing. Exactly. Yep, I would be the same exact thing. What else we got left here? Um, Christian McCaffrey yesterday um, was designated to the, um, has been designated to return from the um, reserve injury list. Yeah, so man, luckily I didn't kick him off my fantasy squad so when he first got uh, injured. Yeah. Kept him on just in case. His return is an air quote possibility. For this Thursday, I don't believe it'll happen though. Um, but we'll just keep an eye on that as well. But yeah, that's all I got for you, big man. That's all I got, player. I was gonna say a shout out to Silver Spring that came out big time. Oh well, well, we do got um, oh. we got some soccer going on today. Actually, we've had a, we've had a good amount of soccer. I thought they'd be popping up on the weekends. For I'm telling, bro. There's so there's so many soccer teams and so many. It's too much. It's just too much. But we got a weird Ronaldo list. Match Juventus versus Barcelona and Messi going on right now. It's in the tenth minute, scoreless nil nil. But it's just weird. Again, remember Ronaldo no longer on Juventus, and uh, no more Juventus versus Barcelona. You know, Messi and uh, Messi and Ronaldo going up. PSG took down Istanbul today, man. Two uh, two nil. Chelsea took down Crossing Door four nil. 
reading these scores, I'm crying inside. I didn't. I got caught up doing other stuff this morning and forgot that these games was being played. A lot of money was lost reading these scores, man, because these was these is money in the banks. Real Madrid took an L recently as well, though. Another one Real Madrid has lost. So um, that's all I got for you. But at the moment, man, soccer is heating up. And Real Madrid, if you're a Real Madrid fan out there, we praying for you. It's like being a Falcons fan at the moment. We're praying for you. Who's been, who's been giving us some good bombs? I want to say Silver Spring popped up this week. Yes, I don't sir. know who that out there, too. Man. Shout Big shout-outs. Out, big shout-outs to all y'all in Silver Spring, man. You we appreciate saying? it. Woodbridge, Virginia. Okay. L.A., number three. Woodbridge. Memphis, number five, man. That's what's up. All right. Man. Hey, listen, man. They love you down in Memphis, man. You got some, you got some good friends down there. Real good friends. And I miss them. I miss them very much. Friends. New York. San Diego, New Jersey right. City. Yeah, New Jersey came in. We pay y'all so much. San Diego, we appreciate you. We appreciate you, Sean. We appreciate you. Yes, sir. Shout out to B by E. Yes, sir. And uh, we out of here today. That's it. Yeah. That's J and J every day. Appreciate y'all. We got some for you, man. Like, like, yes, sir. Get some for you, buddy. Forty bucks. It's getting cold outside. Yeah.